Welcome to Electron Online and now let's talk about the direction of the moment. What does that mean, the direction of the moment? Well, we already understand that the moment is something we can calculate when we do a cross product between the moment arm or the position vector and the force applying it being applied to the object. So here, imagine that we have a bolt that needs to be tightened with the wrench or loosened with the wrench. So if we push down on it like this, we tighten the wrench. If we push against it like this, we loosen, uh, I should say, tighten the bolt and loosen the bolt. Now, when we push on the wrench this way, we make a clockwise motion on the bolt. So we write clockwise or CW for clockwise. If you push against the wrench like this, we do a counterclockwise motion on the ball. So we write counterclockwise or CCW. How does that relate to the direction of the moment? Well, again, use your right hand rule. If we take the red force right here, where we push down on it. So basically we're tightening the bolt at this point. So notice we take a right hand rule. We push our fingers in the direction of the moment or the position vector. We have to turn our hand around because now we curl our fingers in the direction of the force downward and our thumb points inward, which means the direction of the moment is into the board when we apply a force like this where we have a clockwise motion on the bolt. So in this case, we can see that the moment is into the board like this. And so we write the moment like that. On the other hand, if we push on the force like this so that we have a counterclockwise motion that's loosening the bolt, again, use your right hand rule, put your fingers in the direction of the, of the moment arm or the position vector, then curl your fingers in the direction of the force, and you can see now your thumb is pointing outward, it's coming out of the board, so in that case, if I use blue here, let me use blue again, that means that the moment will be in this direction. Notice in each case, these are forces. The moment is a force, it has direction, and it has magnitude. If I increase the moment R, if I increase R, the magnitude of the moment will get larger. If I increase the force applied, the magnitude of the moment will get larger as well. But here you can see that if there's, counter, if there's counterclockwise motion, the direction of moment is this way. If there's clockwise motion, the direction of moment is that way. It's kind of interesting, the threading on bolts and screws is such that when you turn them clockwise, they go inward. If you turn them counterclockwise, they go outward. I don't think that was done by accident. I think that was done especially to be in tune with, the, with what we call the concept of the direction of moment. When you tighten a bolt clockwise, it goes in. When you untighten it or when you loosen it, it comes out. And so the direction of the motion of the bolt or the screw is the same as the direction of the moment when a force is applied at the distance away from the point of rotation. So that's why I don't think it's coincidental. I think that is why it was made that way. So to indicate the direction of motion of a bolt is the same as the direction of moment when a moment force is applied. And that's how we know.